Welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. We're ready to, well, put back the fourth spellstone and put this planet back Admiral together. Awesome! I'm excited for this. I mean, we've come so far and done so much, and it's all culminating to an end here. We, we have the end in sight, man. Uh, what percentage are you at, out of curiosity? We are at 84% done, and that's just going to keep going up very, very quickly. But we've still got a few things left to do. First thing is obviously get the Ocean Spellstone to the Ocean Force Point Temple. But before that, let's uh, try our damnedest, because this is probably the last time, or next to last time. Yeah, this is the last time we're going to be doing this Dinosaur Planet stage. Oh no! That's right. So let's, uh, let's do something, I guess. Let's kick back and relax. I see you're taking the leisurely route. Yep, I'm just taking it easy. So every time you go back to a place, you need to do this section? Yep. Now, does the amount of rings change whenever you go to a new place? Uh, no. It's a, it's always one ring for Dinosaur Planet, but it's always three rings for Dark Ice Mines, five rings for the other place, and seven rings for uh, the Walled City, and ten rings for Dragon Rock. Okay. And I was trying to get all ten rings for this stage, but I failed, so fuck it. No! Well, I kind of figured you were going to say fuck it because of the uh, opening there. You were just kind of like, yeah, go ahead and shoot at me. I've got, uh, what is it, seven hearts? You can't take this out. Yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to be dying anymore for the rest of the game. <laughs> you better not. I mean, you can jump into fire all you want. It's not going to do anything now. Maybe once, but I don't remember. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can't focus on the new stuff yet because there's still a lot of old stuff we gotta do first. We gotta do the backtracking back to the motherfucking uh, Ocean Force Point Temple back. Awesome. You better have a story ready. Uh, I... This one time I was playing Star Fox Adventures and I thought to myself, Oh god, I gotta go to Cape Claw in the Ocean Force Point Temple. That's gonna take a really long time. So I figured that I would cut a few things. But then I remember that I had this awesome story, which was about me playing Star Fox Adventures and going to Cape, to Cape Claw and... Yeah. Actually, before we get to that, there's one more thing that someone pointed to me out in the comments that uh, I almost forgot about and really didn't quite care about. Involving the shop. Oh. Uh -huh. This rocket boost point that I think we found in like episode 3 or whatever, but uh, couldn't use because we didn't have the power at the, at the time. So we'll use our bomb spore here. And then... Blow that shit up, like so. <gasps> a secret! It is a secret. There's, uh, some pads to shoot. I guess I'll do that. Why not? Hidden Two, treasures! Three? Is that all? Oh, uh, wait. Oh, uh -huh. four. See how my staff is glowing? Yep. That must mean we got something special. Oh, what could it be? Oh my god! I never thought I'd be this excited over a secret in a game seen one of these in a long time. No kidding. <laughs> oh, really? This isn't a uh, new staff upgrade. This is just a... Well... It's a magic boost. Oh, nice! You could have used that ages ago. <laughs> I don't know how many... Uh, staff regrades there are, but obviously we haven't really needed all of them, and we've been just fine otherwise. But now we'll be even, well, more fine. Yeah, I was wondering about that, because you get hearts like Zelda. I was wondering if you get more magic like uh, Zelda, and you do. Yes, you do. Cool. Very easy upgrades, too. Not much up here except for a few fuel cells, but we will never be needing fuel cells again. Hmm. Never again. 100% run. <laughs> So, now that that's done, we can make our way to Cape Claw. Excellent. <coughs> yeah. It's probably going to go the same way as every time you go to Cape Claw. Yeah, it probably is. So, this way to Cape Claw, let's go that way because that's where the Ocean Force Point Temple is. Nothing's going to change, right? Mm, probably not. I mean, nothing changed. We went to the Volcano Force Point Temple. What would change now? <gasps> oh, I thought something was actually going to change. Well, maybe. You gave maybe me not. context sensitivity. I say which way I gotta go. I pressed B and everything and nothing happened. That's not it. Ah, at this console, the B button is red, not green. 
Isn't that just weird? Oy vey, your Jewish conquer isn't that good. I'm not... I, I never... <laughs> I didn't play conquer, <laughs> shut up. Hold on, that's what I want to talk about. Rare, are you seriously going to let Conquer be destroyed by Microsoft? <laughs> that trailer sucked. <laughs> oh my god, that game's going to blow. I knew that uh, it would hurt you bad, but I didn't think it would hurt you that bad. Jesus Christ. And they even got the original voice actor back, and he is so ashamed. They say it's going to be a, ma a mature-themed adventure, but I wonder what that would entail. He looks like he's melting. Is it going to be like the M-rated kind of mature, or is it going to be like, you know, the, the hard T-rating kind of mature? Like, oh, we say butt and shit a couple times. Look, ah, look at that guy. He's covered in shit. Well, look, they brought back the cock and plucker. They brought back the teddies. They brought back non-violent shooting guns. It's going to blow. By the it way, this is this is the first time I've ever had problems with this maze. <laughs> right, right near the end. It's like, oh, oh, God, where am I going? No, really, it's like, wait a minute. I've, I've done this perfectly like every other time before, now I'm having problems with the fuck. Oh my gosh. Shit. Ah, camera's fucking me up. Am I going the right way? No. This way. So back to betrayal. God, I hate that. And the thing is, you have to, you still have to buy Project Spark to uh, get to play that episode, which I don't want because it looks like crap. Well, of course you do. It's an Xbox One exclusive. It's all you, buddy. Do you, you do know this is going to be the year of Rare, right? Yeah, like, well, They have hinted at Battletoads, they're bringing back Conquer. they had a Banjo-Kazooie a Connect game they were showing off at one of their conferences. They're bringing Rare Classics back and they're going to be ruined. They're going to be absolutely destroyed, and meanwhile, Playton of Games is going to flourish. If, so, I'm so I'm trying to figure out, what's at the bottom of this well? well death. That's, uh, that's great. <laughs> the game crashing. Oh, okay. So it dumps me back here for some reason. Very strange. Hmm. A little off-putting. But uh, I, I did go down later, because I, I was thinking there'd be like another staff upgrade, because you know, we just found one, maybe there's another one down there, because we've mm -hmm. never been down there, we never needed to go down there, is there another world, is whatever? Nothing at all. Oh. Just some refill magic and that's it. There's It's, up, it's a complete waste of time down there. Duly noted. Yes. Seriously. But that's, that's the nature of adventure, and that's the nature of how Dark Souls works. I'm just telling you, if Platonic Games doesn't just g just skyrocket in popularity, I'm going to... Somebody better do something. Well, uh, there's a difference between making the games that we've wanted for years and making the games that'll actually be good. Well, if they can find that, that sweet spot of making it good and making it like we want it again, like Shovel Knight. If they yes. can do If they can pull a Shovel Knight, they'll be golden. Well, with all the talent that used to be in Rare, having left Rare and formed Platonic Games, I don't think there's going to oh, be any Oh, that's going to be so nice. Yeah. Bring back the classics. Well, they're bringing back the classics, but they're not bringing back them in the way that we want. Because they tried that with Banjo-Kazooie, and they did that with Perfect Dark Zero, and both of those games kind of really sucked. So, bring them back with a new coat of paint. That's pretty much what they're doing now. They tried to do that, it just doesn't work. So, into the Ocean Force Point Temple, we don't go. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Somebody's catching on. Ah, uh, great. Great, great, great. Can I get up there? Nope. <laughs> uh... Yes. Oh, my God. Somebody finally figured it out. Okay, well, maybe I can go into that other way up here, you know, with the sharp claw uh, disguise and all that. You right, know, that, right. That, that door? Okay, yeah, that's cool. We'll, we'll go that way. That's got to be the way. Sure. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, well, uh, there's a third entrance, you know, that uh, that place by the waterway on the left there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's Let's try that. Oh, a fuel cell. Another, well, we don't need it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll never just... need any more, because uh, once you go to a place once, you'll never need fuel cells to get there again. Oh, cool. For example, if I want to go back to Dragon Rock, I don't need 15 fuel cells again. I can just go there when I want to. That's glorious. So I'm kind of glad that they kind of sprinkled the fuel cells about there pretty, pretty broadly. And if I, Oh, come on now. 
something's going on here. I think I'm doing something wrong. So why don't we fade out and figure out what the problem is? All right, I got it now. It's kind of a really ridiculous thing, and I wish they would have indicated this a bit more. But, uh, something we gotta do. Oh, the big door. Of course, the portal door. That makes total absolute sense, because we have that now, and last time we were here we didn't have it, so let's use it because we have it now. Yay! I never get tired of that. Well, I mean, duh, right? Of course. Just run through it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was about to go, tricky, ice! Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. So we gotta use this cannon. Oh, that, if you remember, was indeed there, but we just forgot about it, I guess. Gotta okay. Blast open that door. No, I'm good with this. I uh, forgot it was up here, but... All right. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Eh. Fire! <sighs> come nope. on. Right there. Wish I could aim a little better. There. Aha! Got there it. we go. Got it. Okay, okay. Now we can make our way inside the Force Point Temple... Finally, finally, finally. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, I wouldn't remember it going uh, all the way back here, but hey, that's kind of cool. It's a good thing I have that walkthrough. It's helped me a lot through this Let's Play. <laughs> I still lo I still love it that a, you know, a soldier of General Scale's army is just like, ah, let's, t let's uh, seal this place up. But luckily, that was the only puzzle that we had to do, because everything else has been solved for us, still, from the last time we were here. Oh, good. So that switch puzzle here in the beginning, don't need that. That's already done. This isn't where we did the test of courage, right? Uh, no. Okay. The the most asinine thing in this game so far? The test of courage was underneath the Lightfoot village. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, the beach. We've still got two more Krizoa spirits to find. Things are really starting to wrap up now. It's all gone by so quickly, even though it's taken months. Yeah, I think Ride to Hell took longer. Yeah, actually it did. I think because this game is easier to play. <laughs> and it's better. <laughs> it's better. It's not as broken. Well, I guess this, technically this, this game, game isn't is broken. This, this, yeah, this, this, this game isn't broken. It's just got a lot of things you look down on. It's still, it's still good, though. I would consider this game a good game. Stellar game? Probably not. Decent? But again, sure. but again, just like uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, I hope people will look back on this game with a bit more fondness now that we have uh, Star Fox Assault and a proper Star Fox game coming up for the Wii U. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I did that just for you. <laughs> Thank you! Just for you. <laughs> all right, but do you get here, it now? Yeah, what's different here is that now we have all the blocks to deal with. The entire thing is full. Hmm, okay. Well, this one's pretty easy. It's literally just back and forth. And then, and then, and then, yep, there. I got my high def so I can just look back if I need to without having to go all the way back. It's so convenient. There, there, and there. And then left. Right. right. And <laughs> left, oh, yay! We did it! Or you right. did it. I didn't do anything. This has got to be the way to go because this is the portal door, right? Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Shocks you anyway. <laughs> ah! Oh. A cheat. A cheat well. well. I have some bad news about this. I fucked up the cheat wells. What? I fucked them up. What'd you do? I'll explain how I did later, but, uh... The way it is now, we will never be able to get all of them now, so... Uh, was, was there one in a specific level that you can't get back to now? Well, there's a point that uh, once I decided, okay, I'm going to get the cheat tokens, I'm at a point of the game where I'm too far gone and I can't go back. Oh, okay. Pretty much, uh, we missed them all by the time we came out of the Volcano Force Point Temple, because there was one back there that we had to get, and we need the spell stone to get it, which we don't have anymore, so we're just uh... locked out of there for good. But okay. the cheat tokens will be shown off in the bonus episodes, which will probably air after this last episode. Okay. So I just wanted to explain that, but the cheat tokens <laughs> will be shown off, just not yet. Just not yet. That's fine. 
There are eight of them. We've got four of them. We fucked up two of them, I think. <laughs> oh, no. I know the feeling of missing things and uh, having to do it all over again. But we have a second chance. And it'll be all, it'll be all hunky door in the end. Excellent. But now we are here in the Ocean Force Point Temple again to take on the other side of the temple now. Mysteries abound. See, when we came here last, that door opened. But now it's closed off to us, which means we have to go the other way. <sighs> oh no. Wait, this was the uh this is the place with the really simple puzzle, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Just shoot it in a specific amount of time. More fuel cells, which we really... Really, we don't need fuel cells anymore for the rest of the game. I don't know why they're giving it to us at this point. Well, which would you rather have? An overabundance or just enough well, that you I would have to find? I literally don't need them anymore. We don't need fuel cells anymore because we've been to everywhere that needs fuel cells and we don't need any more fuel cells to get to where we need to go because we've already been there. I know, but what I'm saying is those are ones you probably didn't find your first time around, so would you rather have just enough to finish the game or have an overabundance that you can just find at your leisure. Well, I can buy the, an infinite supply them from the store, so it doesn't fucking matter. Well, what if you're broke? <laughs> what if you're broke? I found the cheat where I can get 30 scarabs in, like, a few minutes. Well, don't be a cheating... S well, actually, that's a legitimate cheat, so never mind. All right, puzzle number one in our new era. Push box. Push box to get up to ledge up there. Seems simple enough. Ah! <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, at least it would be. Alright. Let's get this right. I swear to God, I've seen that exact same block in Ocarina of Time. Just put a moon on it. Yeah, I could probably see that. Ooh, can you imagine if they were using textures and other things from the 64 era? They were using uh, sound effects. From, it's like, the 90s. Stock sound effects that we hear in everything. What's that do? It opens that? Great, okay, cool. I see something else over there. And I'm gonna <sighs> fuck! <laughs> no, don't do that. Not now. That's, that's just mean. Well, uh, that's okay. That enemy can just clip through the wall. That's okay. Yeah, it's totally fair. There. That's the jump you're supposed to make. Nice. Jackasses. <laughs> Telling you, somebody at Rare is messing with you. Uh, oh, I know they are. I think it's get. I think it gets to the point of the challenge of a game where they stop tutorializing you and they let you do it on their own. And then once you get to late enough of the game, they start to fuck with you, saying, "Oh, you think you know everything? Well, how's this for everything?" <laughs> it's basically rare, you know, just going na 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 at you. Very Dark Soulsian of them. <laughs> all day, <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> yeah, I souls every day. What of it? <laughs> Dark Souls all day, every day. Yeah, freeze him! That's not working out too well. So, Darn it! So, uh... <laughs> I'm forgetting how to block. It's R. I keep pressing L. There we go. Don't you hate that when you play the game for so long you forget the controls? Yeah, because you press L to block in Dark Souls. <laughs> God damn it! So now there is another puzzle here, and it's even worse than the one we had before. Remember the one where we had to shoot all those, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. This isn't gonna be fun because now they're color coded. Oh. Color coded. Oh. Oh, that's not nice. No. No, it it really really isn't nice at all. Hmm. Oh well, let's get this started with anyway. Red, blue, yellow, and green. Look at these switches! Oh, ew. Yeah, you just see it, and it, it, it's the kind of puzzle that just makes you go, oh, come on. Oh, that's... no. <laughs> Luckily, they give you a generous amount of time, so you can take your time if you need to. That's good. Oh, yeah, three minutes? That's plenty of time, I hope. Yeah. I, I hope, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Okay. Any Very minute. slowly. Any minute. Come on. I want to think Fox is losing his patience at this point. He is. He's like saying, I don't get paid enough for this. Eh. 
I think he's been annoyed since day one. I think I think he's uh, <laughs> feeling as contemptuous as we are about this whole thing. I, I want to think, like, at one point he's going to say, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> you don't age, Fox! <laughs> Peppy, shut up! It's been eight years, and I'm the only one who really ages around here. Yeah, why is that? I, I don't know. Explain the time paradox that is the Star Fox canon. Well, they do a lot in hyperdrive. Yeah, and uh, the theory of relativity says that uh, when when something goes faster towards the speed of light, uh, time slows down. How the fuck did that miss? <clears throat> anyway, no uh, uh, time slows down, so I'm thinking through all the warp drives and hyperdrives that Fox has done over the years. Uh, the world has passed by in ten years, so he stays the same age, but everyone else gets older around him. But Slippy has stayed the same age. No, he hasn't. He's got, he's gotten older. His voice has cracked and changed several times. Okay, I, I guess he got me there. I mean, Star Fox 64, he's, you know, got the ring there. Yeah, you're not getting away that easy. But now in Star Fox Adventures, like, Hi, guys! I'm going to the mechanic now! I'm going to fix everything! So does that mean, like... And then Chris... in Star Fox Assault, he's like this. So he, d he gets older. Well, then explain to me this. So Crystal's a younger fox. We'll, we'll just assume she is. What's the sure. age difference between Fox and Crystal? Maybe they were... Uh, I don't know. Like, does does a time paradox mean that Fox is like 50 years older than her? He's like a lecherous old fool? That wouldn't go that far. But, okay. but we did it all, by the way, with uh, some time to spare, because... That's uh, why I was killing time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Let's move on. Yes. A little concerned about my magic right now, because even though we got that upgrade, it's still finite, you know? And it's harder to fill up now because we got more of it. Oh, I love these puzzles. Yeah, this one's a little bit trickier, but not by much. Yeah, it's I love one these extra things. step that might fuck you up if you don't know what you're doing. Hmm. The idea is that this is not supposed to touch the corners, the, the edges, I, I guess. Makes sense. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I see, see what you See, you've already got the answer now. Yep, love it. Love these puzzles in any game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do like, though, it's, uh, you're literally going around the around, around the puzzle to shoot at it. Mm -hmm. It's got good flow. Now you go into that, that other side to shoot it. Go to a side, shoot it. Go to a side, shoot it. It works very well. Love it. That's probably the best puzzle in this temple. <laughs> No kidding. And that was another Buffum Dead you just saw. Oh, another one. Good. Mm -hmm. Another fucking one. Because we don't have enough. We d we don't. We just don't have enough. How many do we have? Like seven? Yeah. Okay. Well, six or seven. I think we used one at that uh, that last boss fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's about to be seven, yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah, I'm just... Really? Another one? <laughs> Fox really has had it. I like Done. to think that his face is getting more scowly the more we play. <sighs> Eventually he's just going to flip a table and say, I'm sick of this shit. By the way, this is fucking dumb what I did. Don't do what I did. <laughs> I don't know what you I was fool. thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I used you all my brain power on that fool. last puzzle. Oh I'm my God. sorry. All right. Let's actually do the puzzle now, what do you say? Sure. There, that did it. Oh, so you're not supposed to jump it? No, you're not. Oh! Yeah, there was a whole puzzle I forgot to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! I'll just jump it, I can make it! <laughs> I'm Star Fox, I can make anything! I can fly! <laughs> Tricky fly! That takes us to the... Uh... The altar. I don't, again, I don't know why we can't just go the way we used to, but that's the last one. We oh did it. my gosh. We fucking did it. That's ridiculous. Fuck this. There it is. Da, 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 da. We did it, man. We saved the day. Bam. Finished. Hey, we are so cool. Well, maybe not. Da, 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 da. And then Ganon's tower shows up. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> actually, well, actually, <sighs> the boss. This puts the planet together. Oh, that looked like a monster. I couldn't even tell that was the planet. <laughs> Oops. And well. Uh... Yeah, we did it, Fox. Guys, guys, are you seeing this? Mission complete. Game's over. Oh, what's going on? Psych. We placed all the spell stones. Uh oh. There must be more to it, Fox. Since you left Walt City, I've been studying your mission. And I've noticed there's something hidden at the top of that huge temple. It looks like a Krasoa shrine entrance. <sighs> oh, yeah. You see his face, he's just... <laughs> oh, you are got to be great. fucking kidding me. Oh my Let's god, go come on! I love just how just self-aware Fox is about everything. He's like... <laughs> <sighs> oh man, that, that was funny. I that, almost want to play that. <laughs> that face just sums everything up. It's brilliant. Doesn't he though? Just, <laughs> well, let's just make our way back to the. Oh, we got a message. Oh, where, where do we head back? Hi, Fox. To, we, uh, we just said Thorntail Hollow, so let's go back to Thorntail Hollow. We'll walk all the way back. Okay. Leisurely stroll. I gotta clear my head. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. But wait! Before we go, there's one bit of bonus footage for this episode. Would you care to see? Sure! Alright! Hey, Tricky! <laughs> what you doing, buddy? How's it going? I'm gonna get it! You certainly are! I'm gonna get it! You're gonna get it, alright. Look at me, Fox! I'm gonna get it! You're gonna get it, alright. I got the ball! I was getting some more magic uh, during that last cut, and uh, <laughs> this happened. He won't even come to me when I, whist when I whistle for him. <laughs> well, so then I go this way, and I turn around, and oh, there he is. Hi! I got it! <laughs> See you next time.